Hey, what's up? Brian Purdy, Bones to Bulk. All right, so today I want to talk about the overhead press or military press as it's sometimes called. And I know I've kind of touched on it before, but I really want to highlight it in today's video. So often when we're doing the overhead press, what we will do is we'll grab some dumbbells, we'll sit in a seat, and we'll lean back into that seat and we'll press them up. It's not bad to do it that way. I'm not going to say like never do it that way. It, it, it's just not the most beneficial. The reason being is when we're sitting down in that position, when our back is against that seat, oftentimes, and you know this is probably true, we'll try to push a little bit more weight than we're able to. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll push back into that seat, we'll shove our back into it, and using that force of pushing back into the seat will allow us to get more up and kind of cheat the exercise a little bit. Whereas when we switch to the standing overhead press, we mitigate that possibility because we no longer have anything to push back into. We no longer have anything to cheat our way up with the weight. So it's literally just us and the bar. So that's why I so like the standing overhead press. Now, in addition, anytime you stand for an exercise, you know, you're going to get in that stance and you got to tighten that core up. So we're automatically working the lower back, we're working the core because we're bracing our body, we're keeping ourselves solid. So it's just an added bonus. So without further ado, let's take a look at the overhead press. All right, when you're getting in a position, a couple things, feet slightly wider than shoulder width. You're gonna wanna have the bar right in front of your chin, press up without locking out the elbows, and then nice slow down. Back up, nice slow down. You'll notice that through this movement, there's not rocking going on. There's not, I'm not like pushing back and doing all this crazy stuff. It's a nice fluid movement. I'm standing there. I'm simply pressing up and back down. This is the only stuff moving. I'm not moving anything else. And that's so key because oftentimes what we'll do again, we'll get our whole body involved. You know, we'll be standing here and it's probably a little bit more weight than we should be lifting. And we'll do this whole like bending the knees and more of like a clean press type deal. And that's not what we're doing. That's not what this exercise is. It's gotta be controlled by the shoulders. So if you can't get it up, if you're struggling, if you're leaning backwards to try to press it up, you need to drop the weight. There's no shame in that. We all have our starting points. So I hope this helps. If you've never done this, start incorporating this. It will make a difference. Remember above all else, you've got this.